Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Stupid, and welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings. In the last part, we were told not to go to the portal, and in this part, I am going to the portal. Alright. The path I took was a familiar one by now. Even with night falling, it was easy for me to find my way around. Long, grotesque shadows stretched before me, and the atmosphere was eerie and dangerous. I couldn't tell if it was because of the evening shroud of darkness, or if the urgent uh, situation tugging at my mind to twist my perception. I made it past the village border and pressed on. There was still a fair distance to go. Suddenly, gloved hands grabbed me from behind, clamping over my mouth. I couldn't make a sound. From what I could see, it was the same hooded figure I had met in the maintenance room after the second murder. It's too late. Maverick arrived before you did, and he'll make sure that no one uses the portal today. Don't follow me. This is exciting. I was shoved to the ground, and before I could regain my composure, the figure vanished into the darkness. If Maverick was still in the area, it was not a good idea to stay here. I wouldn't want to feel his suspicions, or worse. I figured it was time to go back to the police department anyway. You tried to go to the portal. This game sucks. Alright. I feel like that should still have some bearing on the plot, even though the, the things that I get the achievements for generally don't. There you are, stupid. It seems to me you've taken a liking to Bryce's chair. Maybe, I could get used to this. Uh, don't tell Bryce, though. By the way, we have evidence that Razor visited the, por the, visited the portal today. Someone, re someone reported loud bangs consistent with what we know about his weapon. We didn't manage to catch him, but I wonder if this stunt means he's getting desperate. Who knows? Now let's take a look at what you've got for me. The statement from the store clerk is interesting. We've had a few reports of Razor since he, was, he, he went into hiding, so this is very helpful. It's another confirmation of his involvement in this whole matter. Not bad, stupid. Not bad at all. Thanks for your help. I do what I can. I know. And your help is greatly appreciated, believe me. Especially since we're so short on staff right now. That will be all for today. I'll contact you if we need anything. Of course. See you next time and more long and protracted goodbyes. Finally, a free day. What should I do? Um, okay, so we're doing this again. Um... I'm most interested in Remy, Anna, and Adine. Adine is the, the one with the sense of humor. Anna's probably, by accident, the one I'm farthest along the, the romance path with. And Remy feels like a good source of information and it's good fun to talk to him. Um, I don't know. I could, um, I'm strongly considering, and I don't know if I'll do this or not, but when I'm done with the main story, when I get to the end and see the credits roll or whatever, um... That I'll go back and view the, the paths that I haven't taken in, in, in these these choices. Um, so I guess now, back to random.org I go. I still have no idea who Lorem is, other than other than that I made fun of his or her or their or whoever's name because of Lorem Ipsum. But I, I do not remember that in the slightest. Where, where is random.org? Eh, whatever. I guess I'll go with the Dean. I do kind of want to compensate for choosing the most boring options the last time I saw her. Uh, this should be the right address. I'm coming! Oh, it's you. I was expecting someone else. You're a little early. Yeah, I didn't know how long it would take me to get here. Better early than late, right? You know, I'm glad they decided not to send you away after all. Me too. You're new. Should I recognize you? And who might that be? This is Emily. She's one of the kids I work with. Hello, Emily. Say hi, Emily. Hello. I just have to bring her back to the orphanage real quick. Feel free to make yourself at home in the meantime, okay? Sure. Okay, I, I met Emily. That's interesting. I did not get an achievement for that. It's very clean in here. So this is where you live, Adin. Small but cozy. I'm back. That was quick. Being able to fly does have its perks, you know. Wait, you flew her back. Well, I am a delivery flyer. She doesn't get scared or anything. No, not at all. She's such a brave little girl. So, what exactly is it that you do at the orphanage? I'm a volunteer. I help out with whatever they need, and sometimes I take care of the kids. They only have so many social workers. The ratio is about one social worker for every ten children, so it's good for the kids to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with someone they know. I guess you could almost call it babysitting, but for the kids, we basically become foster parents. The older they get, the less likely they are to be adopted, so, uh, so uh, she might be too old to be considered soon. Um, I, I, I'd adopt her if I could. 
I mean, I totally would. I'm, I'm guessing it's not going to be a, yeah, it's not that easy. And the actual numbers of adoptions aren't very promising either. Um, worried about what will happen to her if I don't find a fam- if she doesn't find a family. We will still take care of her, of course, but it's not quite the same as having parents. I'd adopt her myself, but I don't think I could take care of her properly, not as a single parent with my packed work schedule. I still volunteer as often as I can, because if I don't, who will? Someone needs to be there for those kids. Um, you're wasting your time. You are not wasting your time. That's very nice of you. I honestly don't know if someone else would volunteer if, if she didn't. Um, I, I would hope so. Thanks. But for me, it's not about being nice. I almost feel obligated to help, you know? Anyway, let's talk about something less depressing. Like what? Let me think. Oh, I just remembered someone died here recently. Here, in your apartment. No, not here, silly. It was close, though. Barely, barely a block from here. Right, the murder of the maintenance guy. I remember that. Wait, was it a murder? I didn't know that. I thought it was just an accident or something. That's terrible. Word really didn't get out from that, did it? Sorry for mentioning it. Finding the first victim was already bad enough for me, and now I have to hear there was another murder in town. Ugh. Ow. I wish I could get some good news for once. Um... At least it wasn't you who was murdered. Don't be so sensitive. Just don't focus on the bad things. Is there a yeah, I guess option? That's the closest, I suppose. That's a strange way of looking at it, but you have a point. That reminds me, I've got something I wanted to try on you. Try on me? It's nothing too dramatic. Is this gonna hurt? I read this in a magazine the other day and found a few interesting articles. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Also, that period at the end of that line is misplaced. Using her partial hand, she held a magazine to show me its cover. A rather bold-looking female was presented on the front, adorned with trinkets like rings and jewels. Various headlines gave me an idea of the content within. It reminded me a lot of the typical gossip magazines back home. They still have those? After the world ended? After the world ended? Lifestyle, the magazine of modern people. This issue even came with a set of fortune cards. Oh my god. Um, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? I'm sure they're qualified to determine my fate. Yeah, um, yeah, they're, they're, I'm sure they're qualified to determine my fate. With articles like Five Steps to Get the Partner of Your Dreams, I'm sure they're qualified to determine my fate. And I read that line three times. Phrase three times. Come on, it'll be fun. If you say so, what should we look at first? I don't care. Throw the stupid magazine in the trash. Uh, I, I really don't care. This is gonna suck either way for me. All right, let's see. Here, this article talks about dreams and what they mean. Oh my god. Well, that's strangely relevant because we were talking about that in the narration earlier. Have you had any stranger recurring dreams lately? That's almost too convenient, you know that? I've been dreaming of fire. I think that's what it was. Um, I can't remember exactly why he said that they were. The, the, thing, the things like the dreams in the portal or whatever. Apparently, it's a rather common symbol that can mean a variety of things. Like, fire for example. Another thing to consider is the significance of the symbol to the dreamer. So, what does fire mean to you? Fire can be destructive, but also wild and passionate. It, also re it can also represent an issue or problem you can no longer ignore, similar to an actual fire breaking out. Oh, so that's like a metaphor for my entire life. It also mentions prophetic dreams, but let's hope that yours doesn't fall into that category. I hope they do. Did, did you say I hope they do? Oh, you doubt they do. Okay, I was gonna say. What about your dreams? It kind of feels like they're different every night. Most of the time they're nonsense. But sometimes I dream of people I used to know. That happens to me sometimes. Not as often as it used to in like high school and stuff, but um... Uh, you never know. It's a whole bunch of baloney if you ask me. I have no idea. What did you even say? I don't remember what you said. What do I make all of this? Oh, okay. That's right. Um, something about people you used to know or whatever. Even the article concludes that scientists haven't figured out why we dream is still a big mystery. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I thought you meant moving on from the magazine. Don't be such a sourpuss. It's such a- there's some interesting stuff in here. Ah, uh, that's not the words I would use. Do you think you can hit the trash can with it from here? You should try. That's not consistent with what I've been- with the options I've been picking so far, but that's such a funny way to, to word it. Okay, maybe you didn't like the first article, but just wait for what I'm going to show you now. What's next? Personality test. Don't you always want to know what kind of relationship you would suit you? Um... I'd like to see a close relationship between this magazine and the trash can. 
Why don't you have- why do you have to be like that? You don't have to take this seriously, but at least have some fun with it. Okay, now she's getting mad. But I'm already having so much fun. Okay, first question. In a relationship, what role do you take? Um... I can't say I- I know the answer to this. I should just- I should just, like, leave this page open for now because I've been doing it so often. One. Okay, I prefer to take the reins. We're going with that. Is that so? Moving on to the next question. Wait, aren't you gonna answer the questions too? I'll take the test after you. I don't want to keep track of both our scores at once. Alright, question number two. What is- <laughs> I'm still- uh, why do I find that so funny? A relationship between that magazine and the trash can. What is your favorite dessert? Red Hot Chili Cookies. Um, what does this question have to do with relationships? Um, uh, I want to ask the last one, but I don't want her to get even more annoyed. But chocolate, I guess. Sure, why? An all-time classic. Who doesn't like chocolate cake? Here's the next question. What is your dream go job? Um, farmer, business person, stay-at-home parent. Um, none of those have to do with code. I guess at least a farmer would, like, get me outside once in a while. Some people believe that that kind of life is very idyllic, but I also think it would be a lot of work. That's what I hear. How many more questions are there? That's all of them. Wait, what? I was expecting more. I guess they don't want to have this section going on for too long, but... Oh, it says here that the results are outlined in the weight loss booklet that came with the magazine, but I already threw that away. Oh, rip. Why'd you do that? You clearly needed it. Oh, stupid. Don't, don't be like that. What a shame. Guess we'll never find out what kind of relationship would suit me. And, uh... Yeah, how, how else would you know? There's no other way. I'll be at a loss for the rest of my life. But now, but now we get to the best part, the fortune cards. Oh my god. Do we really have to do that? You know that stuff's not real, right? That's what I was looking forward to. Most of the times when you get, like, a Chinese fortune cookie or something and you crack it open, the, the text on the little card thing on the inside is complete nonsense, but... Like, one time in, like, 30, it'll be weirdly relevant. And it'll- and everyone will find it funny. How is that supposed to work, anyway? I mean, they're just cards. How can they predict the future? Apparently, there are different schools of thought regarding the use of fortune-telling cards. The cards themselves don't know anything, they're just a tool. So the information actually comes from somewhere else. But where, though? Well, one interpretation is that it's our subconscious who gives us the answers that we seek. Similar to how dreams can be interpreted, the interpretation of the cards is very dependent on the person itself and the symbols they recognize as in the card's images. We recognize images that are relevant to our lives, and that gives us an idea about ourselves and our current problems. And I am reading this out loud, I know, and I am not internalizing any of this because I, I don't- I have no idea where this conversation is going. Um, however, it is just the most grounded interpretation out there. People usually associate some, something more paranormal with fortune cards. One of those explanations is that the cards are our way to communicate with a higher being, a paranormal entity that knows more than we do and can give us some nudges, some subtle nudges, nudges using the cards. And who would that be? The explanations range from ghosts to angelic beings. One even involves humans. Really? So people would say that you could communicate with humans this way. Okay, so I'm gonna use this card and, uh, like, my uncle Frank or Bob or... What are my, even my uncle's names? Because I can't fish any others out. They're gonna, like, reply via the cards, even though they're in a completely separate universe and the portal's broken. And then there were also something they called the Higher Self. Higher Self? How come you know so much about this? Because I read the article about it. Oh. Okay, what should I draw for you? Why don't I get to be the one who's reading the fortune? Because I paid for this magazine, so the cards are mine. Okay, so what are my options? I could read your past, present, or future. What is it going to be? Um... Any one of them could be interesting, because, like, if you read the past, it's either going to be weirdly similar to the first 12 episodes of, this, of the story, or it's going to be hilariously off the mark, and the same, for, the same for the others. Let's go with past, I guess. Reading the past sounds a little strange, since you already know it, but it might help you see things in a new light or give you a new perspective. Is that like a euphemism for exposition dump? Let me see what this card means. <clears throat> Your past is filled with fire, strife, and conflict, yet like steel you, ad you adopted it and were tem tempered by it. What didn't kill you only made you stronger. As a result, you quickly grew and became a more mature and decisive individual. You know what you want and you have the potential to get it. 
What do you think about that? Um, it's very generic. You know that it's intentionally vague so everyone feels like it applies to them, right? You can't really expect a great amount of detail from one card reading. Yeah, I'm sure that's the reason. I guess that's everything the magazine has to offer. Ah, I wanted to. I wanted to see more more hilarity. Um, now you can put it in the trash where it belongs. Uh, what a shame. That could be sarcastic or or uh, sincere, depending on the tone in which it is spoken, and I don't know which. And I'm going to let her decide. I could try to find the diet book booklet if you're that desperate to find out the personality test results. Please don't. All right. So, do you have anything interesting going on at the moment? I can't imagine what it, what ambassador life is like. It's been busy. I thought this whole thing would go by quickly and without any mishaps, but it now seems like there's always something happening. Oh, really? Yeah. I figured I'd come here, do the exchange, and leave again, but apparently it's not that easy. It never is. You speak like you've had experience as an ambassador. Well, no, but doing deliveries is similar. People ordering something, I fly to them, we exchange the project for payment, and then I go back. It's basically the same thing. Yeah, sure. But things always go wrong. For example, imagine you have two deliveries to make, and the first one goes smoothly, okay? I'm imagining it very hard right now. Alright, so you get to the destination of the second delivery, and they act actually check what you're handing them. It turns out that you mixed up the orders, but you already delivered the first one. That's certainly not a pleasant situation to be in. And now you have to go back to the first family you delivered to by... The first family you delivered to, who by now have probably noticed that they got the wrong delivery, and exchanged that what you gave them for what they actually ordered. Right? But it turns out that they didn't mind the mix-up, and as a matter of fact, they have already started eating what they got instead. And so it goes. And it's not so bad that they aren't angry, but now you can't exchange the orders anymore, so you have to fly back to the restaurant to get the second order made. Happens all the time. See, this is why you write people's names on the packages. And as a result, the people waiting for the second order get angry because their order had to be remade and delivered all over again. And the plot thickens. They complained, and of course, they get the mirror comped. The restaurant can no longer sell the first order you still have, so the orders so the orders from both your families are detected from your paycheck and you end up eating nothing but ramen all week again. So you just can just just so you can make rent this month. That is unfortunate. And that's why you always double check your orders because even a small mistake can have consequences reaching farther than you think. Or you just write the people's names on the on the packages. Sometimes we have to learn the hard way. I guess so. Anyway, what else have you been up to recently? Do you remember the stunt flying competition I told you about? Of course. I assumed your participation is a given by now. Actually, I'm not so sure about that. I mailed the application earlier today, so hopefully it will arrive before the deadline. Or maybe I should just fly it over myself. While well, showing off a few moves, that is. Uh, you should fly it over just to make sure you get in. It would be a shame if you couldn't enter because of a technicality. Yeah, I really should drop by. By the way, uh, could you do me a favor? That depends on the favor, I suppose. It's kind of a long story, but there's something I need. You know some people at the police station, right? Yeah? I think they're in possession of a map related to an underground building they found. I've heard about that. Oh, that's great. Maybe you can get them to hand it over. It doesn't even have to be the real thing. Just a copy would be fine. A Dean? What do you even need it for? Let's just say I'm interested in doing a little investigation of the place myself. I like you. What's so special about it? It's supposed to be a remnant of an earlier civilization, or maybe even something created by humans. Who wouldn't be interested in that? Um... An actual human in front of you is not enough. I mean... If a dragon came to visit, and they told me about the ruins of a dragon civilization, I would be there in a heartbeat, despite the fact that there is an actual dragon in front of me. Um, I'd, I'd pay a visit myself if I could. See, I think if, if you put your word in, we could easily make it happen. Except for the part where they think it's gonna cave in or whatever, that makes me a little nervous, but hey, it's a small price to pay, right? Just, like, we'll sign a death waiver, even. How do I even ask for something like that? You could always say that humanity is interested in it. Honestly, they probably would be. Could you ask them for- could you ask them for me, please? Um, yeah? I won't promise anything, but I can certainly try. Thank you, that means a lot to me. I didn't know you were interested in archaeology. I wouldn't care so much if it turned out just to be this, some old building. The whole thing about it made by about it being made by humans is what's really interesting. I don't know, just digging up a lab underground, uh, regardless of who made it. Definitely uh, sets off some alarm bells. Why is that? Good alarm bells, by the way. You know, I think I was actually fishing for a different expression and didn't come up with it. Oh well. Well, the myths wouldn't be very mythical anymore if that was the case. You would have proof. 
And that so shortly after fin finding out that humans are, in fact, real. Yes, what a time to be alive. So you believe in all that stuff. Belief isn't really the right word when you're standing in front of me, you know. That alone is a miracle. I get excited all over again just thinking about it. Speaking of which, all this excitement made me lose track of the time. Is it that late already? Oh, actually, I have places to be. Especially if I want to make sure my contest application arrives on time. Guess I should be going then too, huh? For now, at least. I certainly wouldn't mind if you stopped by again sometime. Will there be any magazines involved? Actually, that... <clears throat> Actually, that magazine doesn't come around that often, so we wouldn't have anything new from them. I could get a different one if you wanted to, though. Don't bother. Heh. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, I really have to go. I'll see you around. Okay, so, uh, so that's, that, that takes care of that. I am going to end this off here, I think, uh, after that. Looks like I have some free time today. After that, um, wait a minute, can I do that again? I'm gonna do Remy next because I want to ask him about the lab or whatever or myths or something like that. But can I talk to Adine again? Because I think the last times uh, these these options showed up uh, after I chose one, the option disappeared. Anyway, my name is Stupid, and I will see you all later.